So, in my view, the, one of the big challenge of the rise of artificial intelligence, but it's also valid for emerging technologies in general, is the fact that their, their growth, their rise, in a way, inextricable. What do I mean by inextricable? I mean that it connects, it uh, intertwines deeply opportunities and challenges. So in the case of artificial intelligence, for example, the rise of deep neural networks represents a huge opportunity in terms of uh, gains of productivity and therefore economic growth in terms of uh, revolutionizing healthcare to uh, uh, deliver uh, treatment for cancer, uh, in transportation to uh, deliver safer transportation to reduce the number of road casualties, uh, in the case of agriculture to deliver more yields. So the ranges of opportunities are countless. The issue is that with those opportunities come a set of key challenges. One is, for example, technological unemployment or the rate at which automation, which delivers those productivity gains, is going to replace tasks and occupations. So how do we retrain people to empower them to transition professionally, not once, but probably for your and my generation, twice or thrice, that's one thing. Second is, as we delegate more critical functions to these autonomous agents, how do we control them? How do we make sure that the values that we refer to to deliver our decisions in a human environment are in a way baked, delegated to these uh, artificially intelligent systems? If we are unable to do that, then we risk sacrificing our privacy or dignity in terms of the complexity of our identity, which is not only uh, a bunch of data. We, we, we go beyond data. So I'd say that privacy, um, ethics, and to a certain extent, democracy are at risk. So that's the key challenge I would frame for AI. So one thing that I think we should make clear in terms of artificial intelligence and emerging tech in general is that they represent a huge opportunity. How? Well, we need AI. Why? Because in so-called advanced economy, the aging of the working age population is creating a vacuum. The solution to continue delivering productivity gains in the silver economy is going to go through IT and artificial intelligence. We're going to be in need of more productivity gains in that context, and that's something that AI can deliver through better planning, through optimization loops, and many more functions across sectors, across value chains that are going to be revolutionized potentially by the rise of AI. Uh, so I'd say that AI has the potential to sustain economic growth in the decades to come, even considering the aging of working, working age population, which is very much affecting our economies here in Europe, but also increasingly affecting, let's say, China. So if we dig deeper in the case of what are the opportunities triggered by the rise of AI, and we go by sector. Transportation, well, we know that humans are pretty bad at anticipating and pretty bad drivers. So in the US alone, there are 33.5 thousand people who die uh, on the roads every year, year after year. That represents a compounded cost, a consolidated cost rather, uh, of over one trillion US dollar per year, year after year. So the rise of self-driving cars represent an opportunity to save money and save lives, and then lots of lives. So it's not only about taking unemployment and replacing the jobs of drivers, of course that's a problem, that's a challenge, but the opportunity behind that is to address road casualties. That's a big thing, healthcare. You know, in healthcare, the cost of access to certain imagery or treatment is very high. The rise of AI means cheaper access to treatment, cheaper access to diagnostic. And that's the same, this tension uh, and this, you know, enabling a better access to services goes across sectors. Legal. So when we use AI and deploy legal, uh, uh, AI in the legal realm, we empower people to access uh, in a way to be able to contract with a lawyer at a low, much lower cost. Uh, today, um, a lawyer by the hour costs anywhere between, let's say, $200 to $600 per hour. With AI agents, we could collapse that cost well below $30 or $20 per hour, which means access to justice. In the, in the legal realm, to conclude, well, I think we need to also emphasize the fact that uh, if we continue to bring more and more cases on the table of judges 
who don't have time to look into the details of those cases, we're in for discrimination, we're in for biases. So with AI, we also have an opportunity to, in a way, support the work of humans, augment the work of humans, and provide them with better decisions, more accurate decisions, less discriminatory decisions.